Hey, what's up guys? Hero here and welcome to another Roblox video. Today we are going to be playing the Cenozoic Survival. Now, some of you guys asked me to play this game and I've kind of did, but I landed in an empty server somehow and I couldn't really interact and find any people, so I kind of gave up on the Cenozoic Survival. Don't get Cenozoic Survival and Cenozoic Era confused because they do have similar names, but they are completely different games. One is a Steam game and the other one is a Roblox game. This time we're gonna play the Cenozoic Survival, but not Cenozoic Era. Now, jumping straight into the game, let's begin our little journey. We have mammals, which I do want to showcase for you guys. We have a few mammals. I thought that there will be more, but we have the Dire Wolf, Elk, Pronghorn, Quag Quagga and the giant vampire bat for the uh, Halloween event. And for reptiles, we have the Carolina Canure, Kalenken, and Megalania. Hopefully I pronounced every single name right, but I've played with Kalenke, which kind of looks like a dodo, and Megalania looks like a Komodo dragon. I'm gonna try Kalenken because I do want to show you guys the calls of this animal, which sounds pretty nice. So jumping straight into the game, this is how it looks like the Kalenken and of course the uh, HUD. There are just a few complaints that I just want to say before we start the video, of course. I'm not really a big fan of clicking and dragging the camera. I don't know if there's a way for me to just, you know, move around so that the camera can also move around. But it is doable. I will eventually delete my cursor so you guys don't see my uh, cursor moving around. So it will kind of bother you. And the other thing is the left side HUD, which it kind of looks like I have my menu open for some reason, although it is pretty nice because it's a quick access for the controls and settings, but maybe removing this and just leaving the stats right here visible, it would be pretty nice. On the stats, we have the name of the animal that you're playing, if ever you forgot about it, the stamina, hunger, thirst, oxygen, and your HP. For this video, I will disable the HUD because I don't really like, you know, image pollution. I like something like this that looks pristine. And, uh, you know, if I want to check how many stamina or health I am, I just have to press H and it will show and close a little HUD. Now, jumping straight into the calls, which I am pretty excited to show you guys, is the call number one of the Kalenkin. I don't know why, but it really sounds like an actual animal. I don't know if this is an actual animal in real life that they just grabbed and put it in, but the sound is pretty nice. We have the two call. The uh, three call, which I kind of think it's more like a broadcast. The four call. The five call and then the emojis that you guys can use. And something that the Cenozoic Survival does differently from your normal animal survival games is that if you never played an animal survival game like the Isle Animalia, you won't really know what calls are, right? So if somebody gives you a two call, you won't really know if he's being threatening, if he's doing a broadcast call or something, but in the Cenozoic Survival, you can get this little emoji on top of your head, and straight off the bat, you know that I'm being friendly. If I'm being aggressive, then it shows this little evil face, and if I'm trying to alert my teammates, we have this little punctuation that uh, shows above our head. Now, into the actual gameplay itself, I've played a little bit, like I said, and the maps, I don't know why, and I keep saying this, Roblox is really advanced from what it used to be. The map looks pretty gorgeous, I do have to say. And I do think that this map is fairly big. I wouldn't say that it's big like the uh, Isle or uh, Anomaly, but it is fairly big for a Roblox game. Now, I'm seeing a little bit of activity over there, and I do want to check it out, because this will be my first interaction with players. Hopefully, they will be friendly. We have a group of Kalenkins, some uh, prawn horns, elks, wolves. 
Maybe zebras. I think that's a skin. Now, obviously, I don't know how to open the chat on Roblox because I've never played a lot of Roblox in my life. But it's pretty nice to see what they say in local, I think. So you can have an, an, uh, an idea of what's happening to, uh, you know, the game instead of just opening your uh, chat. And this is the nighttime, which look at the sky. It has a beautiful purplish, purplish image. But so you guys can see better, I, I will activate night vision. Oh, and there's food. Don't mind if I do. No. Is this a fight? Is he, does he want to fight me? I think he wants. Oh, how did that hit? Oh, I got 10 of bleed, I think. We might die. Well, I'm not really mad at dying. You know, he kind of ruined the uh, overall experience because everybody was just chilling. But I do want to try out next the Megalania. I never played this uh, animal before. It is a large monitor lizard from the continent of Australia. So we're going to click on adult and male. So this is a little monster lizard. Let's see their uh, beautiful calls. Call number one. This call number two. Call number three. Which obviously, I mean, what would I expect from a lizard? They don't really make that much noise besides this uh, hissing sound. But that's it. That's just basically how a lizard is. There is not really many calls that we can do. I do want to see though the attack and the special attack, which is a tail attack. That's pretty nice. So we will navigate until we find some water and some food because surviving in this game is a little bit challenging, I do have to say. Besides the overall PvP that sometimes people like to do. Finding food as a newer player, it is difficult because I don't really think that there is AI to hunt. So we need to find a player or maybe a carcass to eat. I don't really think that there is any animal that we can kill as the uh, Megalania. We might try because if we were a Komodo dragon, then uh, we would be able to kill people because of toxins but the tail whip of a komodo dragon it is pretty dead deadly so i will assume that the megalania will also be deadly if we manage to hit a tail whip if we manage to hit a tail attack so i have been crawling for the past few minutes and i came across this stone which i don't really know what it is because if it glows that means that it will give me something hopefully i don't know if i can eat or destroy this or if it's just a prop but i think it's just a prop i thought you could kind of like destroy it and get a uh, emerald which looks like emerald that you can use in the game but we do need to keep on searching because I haven't found anyone yet. So fingers crossed that that will happen. So it is finally daylight, but we haven't came across anyone. And I do think before I end the video, I want to try I wanted to try and to test one more mammal. 
but the Megalania is not really, you know, exciting overall, but I do think it is a pretty interesting animal. So let's just jump straight into the last animal. Looks like there is a motion capture device. Look at that. Maybe it will capture us. But for the last animal to showcase, it is the dire wolf. Of course, I have to show the wolf because it is one of my favorite animals and it really wouldn't make sense not to show this animal. The dire wolf, I think, is different from the uh, typical wolf back in the Cenozoic era. I don't know really much about uh, this animal, but I do want to see if you can find any more peoples. The calls, however, it is as you expected from a wolf. But it seems like they are, the calls are pretty different. So call number two is more of an alert. With the Kalenkin, it was call number four. The call number four for the Dire Wolf is... Aggression? But... I don't think there is any friendly call. Uh-oh. Looks like we stumbled across a pack of wolves over there. They seem to be... chilling. They seem to be fairly organized, I do have to say, that everybody is just laying down and then there is two wolves standing up, probably the uh, pack leaders. So it seems like there is role-playing people. And why not try it out and see if they will accept me into their wolf pack. I need to remove this green because we do want to act friendly, so where is our friendly face? Here we go. Submissive face. Not angry. But submissive face. Okay, let's 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 make sure. Six is our angry. Seven is our submission. Okay. At the worst case scenario, we will be chased and killed. But look how a lot of a uh, lot of pups there are. So it's not six. Seven. I don't know what the two call is. How do you type? I don't know how you type. Yes. <laughs> now I don't know if I'm in their group or not. But I think we are good. I don't really know how to play Roblox. I don't really know the interactions. I know that on the top left corner I can open the uh, that. But it is pretty fun to see role-playing peoples in the Roblox game. So who is Pancakes? Seems like we got ourselves into a role-playing uh, group and I might be in the wrong group. Oh! Don't kill me! I'm a new player! <laughs> no! But I guess I got invited to a different group, but, uh, you know, I don't know how to play Roblox overall. I don't know really the controls. I mean, I'm not really mad at that they killed me because I was not really cooperating, but... This is Sonozoic Survival. It is a pretty fun game, I do have to say. And I might 
make a few more videos on this game once I get the hang of things. But tell me what you guys think, leave a comment down below, a like and a subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and enjoy this type of Roblox content. So without further ado, I'll catch you guys later in a next video. Take care. Peace.